life is like an evil sting here on Glomcast. Shocks and bombs and Scrooge's screams. It's canny Glomfair. Cutting top my grand plan to beat that Scotsman. Glomcast. What's flying, lions? It's ya boy, Franklin Rye. Back at it with this Glomcast. Today, we'll be looking at the, some people in the town of Maycomb. I heard there was a trial or something about race and how people are treated wrongly. Right after these messages. One day, you are sitting in town, and a mad dog attacks you. <laughs> people who don't have the strongest, newest weapon for mad dog killing are going to die because the mad dogs have gotten an upgrade. What? So get your dog gun for the 2024 made out of great tech and specialized K-Bar that has special bullets that can only damage mad dogs and does triple the damage. Only $15! You can one-tap these fools. More dogs to shoot, the more XP for your gun to level it up. Wow! Be prepared today. All right, guys, so we are back in the town of Maytham, and today we will be having a special interview on the world's greatest lawyer. This lawyer defends all people and is down, and he goes by Atticus One Shot Finch. Hello there. This interview is sponsored by Dog Gun. I heard you had a very thought-provoking trial last week. Let's start from the beginning. What were your first thoughts when you first heard about this case? My first thoughts on this case was that Tom was in the right. I looked at the evidence and found them to be innocent. This caused me to worry about the other people in town because they do not like the black folks. I know going in that other people would not like me for this case, but he needed help, so I wanted to give him the help he needs. So many poggers, Mel, with all the people being harsh on you and all those restraints. So. How do you think the trial was going to go before it happened? I thought it would be a difficult task, but I wanted to make sure that the jury would take time on this decision. Because deep down, I knew we most likely were going to lose this case. People in this town always think that the black folk are all criminals and are against them. So I wanted to try my hardest to get that small chance they would look at the facts to see that Tom was innocent. Matt? That is the unfortunate truth, isn't it? Now, for the big question, how did the trial go? The trial went well till it didn't. The trial itself went really well. I had thought that we had a chance of winning. I somewhat felt it was when the, ju the jury went in there and waited that they might vote innocent. After the trial, I got a lot of disrespect from Bob L. Yule. He spat in my face, and I was fine with it, wanting him to get out of his system and not beat his daughter. But I was torn when he tried to kill my kids. I've never been so scared before. Okay, 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 okay. One last question, important. Do you condone and use the dog gun? Yes. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Okay, moving away. Wait, you're not supposed to be here. Wait, no. <gasps> bad woman? Are you not holding up to social norms? Well, me, Alexandra Finch, got you there with my new dummy's guide to being a woman. It tells you the way of the woman. It can help girls who are not acting the right way. <coughs> Scout. It is a must read for all young girls so they can be the best woman they were born to be. Half off at the Women's Are Noble. Well, those shoes! Get him! this great conversation with Atticus and Sheriff Tate about Yule on one of my many mics. <laughs> I really wonder how Bob died. Later, we have an interview with Boo Radley. If he likes it or not. <laughs> Man, I really underestimated Yule's anger. I really thought he'll be over the trial by now and end this on a note that I ended, that I ended with. 
I should have protected my kids better and called the police department sooner. I'm just worried that once Jem wakes up, I will have to put him on trial for the murder of Bob Yule. You really think Jam could have killed Evil? Well, Jam would protect his sister at all costs, even if it means he has to, to kill someone. I just don't know where he could have gotten a knife from. Well, you're wrong. Your boy Jam couldn't have done nothing with that broken arm of his. The real culprit is Boo Radley. What? Arthur? You protect your kids, Atticus. He only acted out of the kindness of his heart. This means that I will have to defend him on court once this gets out, right? It won't get out. Tom Robinson is dead because of evil's lies. Now he's dead. Let the dead bury the dead, Mr. Finch. Boo Riley has had enough in his life. Bob Ewell fell on his knife. Racism. You all know it and hate it. Except for the people who don't. We do not care about them. We've been looking at this town for a very long time. And they, have been, they have been very racist to Tom Robinson. This town has been corrupted for a very long time. And it's time to recognize that all people are equal. If you were someone who supported the lad, then you should consider spying some of our new Tom Robinson's legendary chocolate cake. His wife made the cake in memory of him after his tragic death and being charged for a crime he did not commit. Buying this cake will help support all of these black people who are struggling at this time. You will be able to help them get through these tough times and treat them like friends. So, purchase this cake and tell other people about this helpful cause. Bang, bang. Hi, Bradley. I want to ask you some questions. Don't run. I have... Gun. <laughs> so tell me, what do you do in here? Or die. Oh, 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 oh no. Um, I guess I live here. I eat and sleep. I never leave the house. Except for that one time I killed Bob. Oh, oh, I should not have said that. <laughs> you confess. Lamau. We now know who killed that Bob. <laughs> So, Mr. Boo, where do the, where are the cats you fight and eat and the kids you kill? I don't kill kids, and I don't eat cats. I don't even leave the house. Do you have any other questions? Yes, indeed I do, sir. What does your brother do, you Radley? Oh, my brother usually stays in the house with me. He's like a father to me since my dad died a long time ago. I don't really appreciate him for filling the tree that I put my gum in, sponsored, and then he filled the cement in, so that was pretty bad. But in general, he's one of the few people that I can respect. Good, good. We can make some clickbait out of this on the Glomcast. Poggers. We will now know the truth. Now this myth, so Boo Bradley. Why did you kill Bob Eel? Speak now. Or get shot. Uh, uh, uh I didn't. Uh, he, he fell in the knife. He, uh, I, he fell. It wasn't me. Fine. You made me do this. Heck, come out. Dang it. I got the cops on me. Uh, I only have a dog gun. Shoot. Wee! Uh, 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 I have a real gun. Can't get me. Thanks, Arthur. That man was a five-star wanted criminal. He went around asking too many questions, then killed the man. So, we want to thank you again. I knew that guy was iffy, so I called you when he broke in. So thanks for getting rid of that nuisance. Okay. What is, what is it? Hey there. Arthur Boo Radley here. Back at it again with the next flavor of gum, tree gum, and it funds my charity, Booze Kids. Find my gum in any of the trees near the Radley House or in any of the trees in Lake. 
if you buy a lot of my gum, I can save your children like Scout and Jam's kids are saved from a madman. Also, some of the money will go into the treats for the children to get and make them happy. Donate today to help the children today. If you donate $1, you'll get a free gum. If you donate $10, you get an aluminum knife. $50, and you'll get a soap figure resembling yourself. $100, I add you to the protection list where I protect you. Do it today! Well, glad you enjoyed this glomcast. Sorry for all those weird things that happened, and we do not support criminals, and we did not know what the interviewer was doing and that they were doing them. But we really don't care. If you do care, don't call us, because we won't pick up. Moving on, Glomcast has now been banned in Maycomb. So yeah, pog us. Make sure to like and subscribe for more of these Glomcasts. This is Franklin Wright, signing oof. Glom Gold! Life is like an evil sting here on Glomcast. Sharks and bombs and Scrooge screams. It's canny Glom fair. Canny top my grand plan to beat that Scotsman. Glomcast.